Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of ref of refining uh, a selection and then improving that refinement. So first of all, I'm going to go to Selection Brush here and make that a little bit bigger as I paint up here. But then I'm going to need to make it a bit smaller for up here. Get this up here. It gets quite a find one here and that's probably enough and I'll do the rest with refine so I can paint in that and paint over here there we go so that's probably not too bad so if I apply that now if I want to have a look at that if I right click uh, sorry down here left click on the mask layer, that's more like it. Then I Alt, uh, left click the mask layer, and then Control D to get rid of the marching ants and go in to have a look at this. And what you find is that it's not always that great. Look at this area out here. And there's areas on the inside here as well which are missing. And what I can do is I can address this with an overlay blend, but I can't do it on the mask itself. So I need to convert that to a grayscale layer. So I take the channels tab here, go down to the mask alpha, right click that and create grayscale layer. And I don't need the mask anymore. I'll just hide it for the moment. Then I just go to this one here. And the trick now is you go to the paintbrush tool, make sure you've got black and white selected here. About 50% hardness, uh, full opacity is usually OK. And then the blend mode here, make sure this is set to overlay. Now then, now comes the magic. Because if I'm painting in black, then because the way this works is it will... If there's some faint stuff here, which is the mask is, is transparent, nearly transparent, then painting on black will get rid of that but it won't affect full white but i can undo that for a moment because it did actually encroach in this area here but if i hit x so to switch it to white now i can paint the other way and if i see paint around the edge there look at the way it's hardening up that edge but it's not painting white into the rest of it so if I go over the whites first and pull this out, I then switch to black and paint over the bit around the outside there and see I'm knocking out that rest there. And I just repeat this down the rest of this, hitting X to switch. I can paint down here, then X to the black to tidy up the edges. And if I get that wrong, I might need to undo that and go back to white again. So white, in other words, makes anything which is getting close to white, completely white. And anything, and when I'm painting in black with overlay, anything which is 50% or more is going to get go the other way. And so I can, sometimes you have to, Give it multiple dabs to to do that. Then I can say I can paint on black there and the edges there to get rid of that sort of fadey bit. So control zero back out again. There you go. That's quick and spend a bit more time doing that a bit better. And now that this is a picture layer, I can turn this back into a mask by right clicking and going to rasterize to mask. Or I can take that here, go down to the the channels again any of the red, green and blue here, right click on that and say create spare channel. Now down here I've got that selected. So I don't need that and I actually don't need the mask. So I can do something like let's no, just do a say a curves. Then that's spare channel, right click that and load to curves adjustment alpha. And now I am working solely on that with a pretty accurate selection. Anyway, that's it. Hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.